Mr. Bandit 81 here. Figured I'd do a video on the Fire Serpent or Serpent Warlord character here. Now, I showed this uh, character here in a, a Ninjago video I did not too long ago. Uh, same name. The uh, using the uh, character head from the Fire Serpent build from the Build Your Own Adventure book for Ninjago, and I know the. Uh, body looks a little different compared to when I showed it in the video made some changes to it here recently and the head sculpt is still the same as seen in the video before which I'll share the link to down below as for the body here The uh, arms and legs are about the same, but uh, I have added to the armor some with the armor piece right here. Uh, still have the necklace on, but I'm for the uh, power the dude's getting. Which I'll remove here in a sec. Which I will remove. As mentioned in the uh, Fire Serpent video, the uh, artifact is, uh, or the chain parts hooked about behind this piece here, holding it in place. Now that the uh, been removed, added the uh, shoulder armor pieces here on both sides, as well as move the uh, armor or the uh, chest piece I had on the front of this guy to the back, and added a kind of spooky look of the abdomen or piece area it has a bony look to the front connected to this piece which is from uh, the Lego Chima's wolf character a great piece that was on the front has been placed on the same spooky looking bone piece which has a transparent look to it and it adds some green armor armor pieces to the tail did shorten it by one piece As for the legs, uh, they've got a plant plantigrade type uh, leg configuration. Uh, this word right here in the bold black letters. Drawing books come in pretty handy uh, with uh, certain words. I have, uh, just trying to figure out what the word for uh, this type of leg setup was. So, uh, two knee joints set up here. And on the neck, 
extended the piece out some and added uh, an armor piece to it. As far as the articulation goes, forward and back uh, to the side some. The uh, armor piece does hold it back a little bit. And as for legs, with how they're set up, can uh, give the character an extra boost. I do have a piece right here. It's helping keep the uh, legs a bit more stable here, holding the character up. Might locate another one or two pieces to put on the feet and uh, with the extended neck piece here gives a little more shoulder space or for strike action I guess you know. When uh, taking a bite out of someone, perhaps. As you can, as you notice, there's a lot of uh, transparent green and solid green pieces with uh, gray and black mixed in. Makes for a possible good armor for the character going up against the ninjas. And uh, as mentioned in the last video, the character was put the, or, uh, going with the story. A serpentine Venomari character with two ghosts and a red and orange um, vermilion warriors. So the red and red and orange taking place in the, the head here, as well as the spooky part. From the ghosts being with the horns and centerpiece, as well as the transparent part on some of the other pieces of the body here. But for the as far as the green goes, I guess that would be the uh, main serpentine character from uh, the Vinmari. Perhaps given the, the biggest part of the color scheme, besides what's used for the armor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, have a good one.